hello students today uh, i am going to discuss few more mathematics related commands in microsoft excel so i have already uh, typed here few mathematical commands along with the explanations so i am going to perform each and every command here in this excel microsoft excel and thereafter we will try to learn it properly so first of all if you will focus upon the first command that is count right so what is what is the meaning of count command count command meaning it counts the number of cells containing numbers in the range okay so let me let me explore it i am i am uh, just typing here few numbers first of all 1 2 3 blank and then 4 and then 5 i want to count that in this particular range in this particular range how many numbers are given so how we, how we, how we can do that so equal to count and then select it and then just select this range select this range okay and then enter uh, bracket close enter so you see it is giving us number 5 number 5 means how many numbers are given in this particular range and you can see 1 2 3 4 and 5 so these five numbers are given here right but suppose i am now taking few more uh, i mean to say not uh, completely numbers i am taking i want to take some combination of alphabets and uh, some letters i mean to say and then some numbers suppose the range is now 1 a b right this is the range and some blank is also there and suppose 4 and 5 now i want to now i want to count uh, the particular i mean to say data here in this particular range so what i can do equal to count equal to equal to count and then select it select it and now provide the range now provide the range and then bracket close and enter so it is giving us 3 it is giving us 3 because it will only count the numbers it will not count it will not count the letters so how many numbers are there 1 2 and 3 in such a way we will deal with the whole process of count command right i hope uh, this is quite easy fine so let me now delete it hold it up now the next command is count a next command is count a in in this one what is the purpose of this particular command it counts non empty cells in a range so there is a difference okay in count it count the number of cells containing numbers in a range but in count a it counts non empty cells in a range so let me fix here some things like i mean to say 1 2 3 4 5 and 5 let me apply here count a equal to equal to count a <coughs> equal to count a select the range and bracket close and enter so answer is 5 for sure answer is 5 that is totally right it is giving us 5 uh, because how many non empty cells are there 1 2 3 4 and 5 it is quite okay but if i am taking here suppose 1 a b and then 4 and then 5 now i want to apply here count a command equal to count a equal to count a and then i am selecting this whole a range bracket close and enter it is now giving me 5 right because how many non empty cells are there 5 1 2 3 4 5 and in such a way we can understand count a command right now there after the next thing is like round round function what is the purpose of round function the purpose of round function is it rounds a number to a specified number of digits right suppose i want to round here so the command is like this round it rounds a number to a specified number of digits right so let me put a number here 1 2 3 12 1.2345 something like this and up to how many digits i want to apply this particular function suppose that digit is 2 that digit is 2 okay so let me see what is the answer here answer will be 1.23 answer will be 1.23 so on this particular command we will be getting 1.23 right now let me delete it let me delete it one more time i am uh, applying here 
सम ओके सम करेक्शन इज रिक्वायर्ड आई मीन टू से इक्वल टू राउंड इक्वल टू राउंड एंड वन पॉइंट टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड सपोज अप टू टू आई वॉन्ट टू टेक इट ओके सो दिस इज राइट वन पॉइंट टू थ्री सो इन सच ए वे दिस इज द मीनिंगफुलनेस ऑफ राउंड फंक्शन नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज राउंड अप फंक्शन फॉर राउंड अप फंक्शन वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई आई वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई इक्वल टू राउंड एंड अप राउंड अप दिस बट राउंड इन नंबर अप एंड दैट इज अवे फ्रॉम जीरो ओके सो वॉट इज दैट नंबर सपोज द नंबर इज वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन समथिंग लाइक दिस एंड आई वॉन्ट टू राउंड इट अप अप टू टू डिजिट्स राइट सो इट विल बी गिविंग अस वॉट इट विल बी गिविंग अस वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर वन पॉइंट जीरो फोर राइट सो द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज लाइक राउंड डाउन फंक्शन राउंड डाउन फंक्शन इक्वल टू राउंड एंड राउंड डाउन इट विल लेट मी फिक्स अ नंबर हेयर वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू राउंड इट डाउन ओके राउंड इट डाउन अप टू टू डिजिट्स सो इट इज लाइक इट्स आंसर विल बी वन पॉइंट जीरो थ्री सो दिस इज द होल प्रोसेस ऑफ राउंड फंक्शन राइट राउंड राउंड फंक्शन राउंड ऑफ फंक्शन एंड राउंड डाउन फंक्शन सो नेक्स्ट फंक्शन इज इफ आई एम सेंग आई एन टी आई एन टी फंक्शन मीनिंग इज इट राउंड ए नंबर डाउन टू द नियरेस्ट इंटीजर राइट I want to apply equal to I N T equal to I N T, and the number is suppose one point zero four five two one three something like this. Bracket close and enter. It is giving me integer one. Fine. And next is square root function S Q R T. So it calculates the square root of a number. So that is equal to S Q R T equal to S Q R T, and I want to take the square root of suppose nine and then enter, and that is quite easy three. next is power power function it raises a number to a specified power suppose i want to get here this function is here i want to take 2 to the power 3 okay so 2 to the power 3 will be 8 that is also right fine thereafter next is exponential function exponentiation function i mean to say it means what e raised to the power of a number suppose i want to take here exp exp and i want to take i want to calculate here e to the power 0 okay just i will write here 0 and enter it will give me 1 that is totally right fine next thing is ln ln function means here the natural log, uh, natural logarithm of a number so that is equal to ln if i am writing here equal to ln and the number is suppose 1 number is 1 that is 0 that is right and next function is log function it will give us the logarithm of a number to a specified base okay here we can specify the base as well suppose i want to get here equal to log equal to log and number is suppose 1 and base is 10 okay and then this one is here base is 10 this one is here and enter so it is again giving me 0 fine so in such a way in such a way we can uh, perform all these functions we can perform all these functions uh, which are basically related to mathematics and all these functions are now tried in microsoft excel i hope this particular video will be quite useful for all of you thank you so much for watching this video